The ABS system has been around for quite some time. Since its inception in automobiles, it has saved numerous lives around the world. As the time went by and the technology advanced, the ABS system became more responsive, more sensitive and more reactive. With the introduction of subsystems like electronic brake force distribution and electronic stability program made the ABS even more capable in helping the driver to control and maneuver the vehicle faster and safer. Compared to cars, the advancement of ABS technology is comparatively slow in motorcycles. Until recently, the ABS system in motorcycle didn't have a subsystem equivalent to electronic brake force distribution. Now, two major geological giants, Bosch and the Continental, have come forward with a solution. Bosch calls their system as electronic combined braking system, and the Continental named their system as optimized curve braking. Fundamentally, both these systems are the same. But before going any further into the details, let's talk about how a basic ABS system works. The ABS stands for Anti-Lock Braking System. This system continuously monitors the wheel speed with the help of speed sensors placed in each individual wheel and calculate the brake force required on each wheel to get maximum traction and shortest braking distance. While braking, maximum brake pressure is applied and released and then reapplied multiple times within fraction of a second. But if the system detects a significant variation in speed between the wheels due to varying surface conditions, the ABS activates reducing the brake force at the wheel that slowed or stopped prematurely. This helps to maintain optimum traction on the road and gives the greatest possible deceleration without losing steering when braking in a straight line. But the problem with normal ABS on motorcycle is, it's not very effective while braking in a corner. As the motorcycle leans into a corner, the traction available between tires and tarmac start to decrease. At this point, with the application of brake, the chances of losing traction completely are very high because the ABS system is applying the same pulsating braking force as if in the straight line braking. This will also cause the bike to snap up straight, sending you out of the line. As the lean angle increases, the contact patch becomes more and more narrower, further decreasing the traction, making the braking duty even more dangerous. The cornering ABS solves this problem. It determines not only wheel speed but also cornering forces and lean angles. Then the system calculates the traction available at the bike stair and distributes the maximum brake force to each wheel based on the riding situation, ensuring the best braking performance under cornering conditions. Rather than pulsating one or two wheels, the cornering ABS doesn't modulate the brakes nearly as aggressive as in a straight line, while simultaneously limiting the brake pressure and dissipating it evenly between the front and rear. In order to activate the system, the rider only has to apply the front or rear brake. The combined brake system is designed to deliver optimal distribution of brake force between the wheels, which stabilizes the motorcycle during the cornering. The new cornering ABS still operates like any other ABS by limiting the brake pressure to avoid brake lockup, but it further fine tunes the ABS response for a leaned over motorcycle, limiting the initial pressure buildup and smoothing out any abruptness in braking maneuver. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. See you guys on next Friday.